What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. It is opening day of deer season here in Texas, rifle season. I never rifle hunt, but this is a pretty special video, so I brought the old 308 out. We're shooting this new Hornady 168 grain black. Uh, they're just called the black. I don't know if they're new or not. I've never shot them before, so that's why I said they're new. But I did it yesterday with them, and uh, and they were dead nuts. So got a little ballistic too. It's a really good round. 308, 308. You can't beat it. So we are locked and loaded. Uh, we're at my ranch right now. There's a possibility of about four species that we could go after today, depending on what comes in. We got black buck, all dead, white tail, and pigs. And I need some meat. Not because I need to fill my freezer, but me and my buddy are gonna do something pretty cool. We're gonna make a whole pot of chili. It's super cold here in Texas for the time of year. And uh we were riding around town the other day and there was a bunch of homeless people and you could just tell that they were freezing. So we're going to make a big pot of chili out of whatever I can shoot and uh, go pass it out to them. So that would be pretty cool. I'm not doing it because of YouTube. So don't think that this is just to get views or anything like that. It's just something that uh, I thought would be pretty cool to do. So I'm uh, hunting solo today. We'll see if something comes in. Feeder goes off in about an hour. So, uh, hopefully we can put something down on uh, opening day of deer season here in Texas. Even the, even if it's not a deer. It's the kind of stuff you have to do whenever you hunt and film alone. I got an office chair with a camera on a tripod sitting on top of the office chair. All I, all I have to do is this right here. It can be pretty tough to uh, self-film hunts, but when you do it and you do it right and it works out right, it is like one of the most satisfying things ever. Like, not only did I just go on a hunt and kill an awesome animal, but I filmed it by myself. So I don't necessarily love doing it, but it's pretty cool whenever you can make it all works. I'm gonna shut up now. And, uh, let the animals do their thing. Black buck. satisfying when you can film self film on I had it perfectly on it and I never pressed record <sighs> I'm shaking <laughs> I think I made a good shot so I'm gonna give him some time before I go look for blood but 
I can't believe I just did that. Oh my goodness. Well, guys, I'm sick to my stomach, but at the same time, I'm like so excited. I've never shot a black buck, and that is a giant. Hopefully, we can find him so y'all can see what I'm talking about. But I don't know how I just did that. I got on him perfectly. I mean, y'all saw me moving the camera around, getting it on him perfectly, and I just never press record. I thought the cam. I guess I thought the camera recorded itself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sorry, guys, but uh, it's been about 15, 20 minutes, so I'm gonna get out and go see if I can find some blood. I saw him. He probably went. I watched him for probably 50 yards, and then uh, he went behind some trees. So I didn't see what he did after that. But he didn't look to be super hurt. I mean, he was just jumping off. He was standing right about here when I shot. Yep, there's blood right there. Sweet. Oh, it's super bright. Oh, I'm still shaking. Oh yeah. So we got good long blood. Um, there's no reason that he shouldn't be down. So. Just gonna keep following him. Hopefully he's at the end of the rainbow. We did it. He didn't run 50 yards. As soon as I lost him in the trees, he fell down. Oh my goodness. This is a giant. Oh man. Look at that, guys. Oh, what a giant black buck. Three and a half curls, almost four. His face is all swollen. Man. Thank you, buddy. What a beautiful animal. He's going to feed a lot of people, and... Uh, He's going to be going on the wall, too. Well, I'm going to go get the uh, mule, load him up. My dad and Judd are also hunting. Uh, they're in two different other stands, so uh, hopefully they get something. But they're far away from me, so I'm not going to be bothering them. But, uh, yeah, let's get this puppy loaded up and uh, go clean him. Go clean them up. All right, guys, we got them hung up. The uh, the other guys didn't shoot anything tonight, but I got this one, so I'm gonna get to cleaning him, and uh, I'm just gonna quarter him up, and then uh, put him on ice, and take the grinder home. And I'll grind all the meat up, and we'll make it into chili. So uh, let's get to cleaning. guys I got it all cleaned up all packed up in the Yukon and uh, I'll see you whenever we start grinding meat at the house and then we're gonna make a huge pot of chili and go give it away so see you then I'm with my dad right now I just got done deboning all of that meat it is in the floorboard right now and we're taking it over to our buddy Eddie Ray's that's why I take we take all of our um, game to when we do get our our animals process. We take it to Eddie Ray's here in Elmont, Texas. I called him up and uh, told him what we were doing and he's gonna grind it up for us for free, um, go to a good cause. So we're headed over there and I got a little grinder but it'll take me about an hour versus his would probably take about two seconds. To so we're gonna run over there, uh, throw this meat in his grinder and uh, it shouldn't take long at all and then head back to the house and get the pot rolling and get a big old pot of chili going. Just dump it in there. Uh, yeah, right there. Yeah. 
us about two hours. Big thanks to Eddie Ray's. Uh, we got about 16 pounds. We gotta go make some chili. If y'all need to get your deer processed, bring it over here. You got two locations, right? Yeah. One in Elmont, one in McGregor. They're so open 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. seven days a week. Sweet. Go check them out. All right guys, biggest pot of chili ever made. Got some Texana brands, gar roasted garlic, olive oil. I'm gonna put quite a bit in there. That. Just gonna dump this meat in. We'll start browning it up. Got my big cattle. Four packets of uh, chili seasoning. So we'll just brown this meat up and then uh, we'll start adding our beans and tomatoes. We've got to add a little bit of critter glitter in there. All right, I don't want to fog up the lens too bad, but the meat is done. So we are going to add a little bit of critter glitter, a lot. Let's just go ahead and pop the top. So, y'all will also probably say that beans don't belong in chili, but uh, whatever y'all want to call this. I'm calling it chili. I don't care what y'all call it. Whatever it is, it's going to be good. Uh, Santa Fe stew. I love Santa Fe stew, so maybe that's what this is. But either way, it's good. We're going to go ahead and throw all of this in there because that is a lot of meat. sound like something that's gonna come out after this chili is eaten. And two cans of corn. Now, mix it up a little bit. Get the flavors of moving. That's a big pot of whatever you wanna call it. That's what we're gonna call this, is whatever you wanna call it. Chili stew. Chili stew. My goal is I got 50 trays. Like you'll see here in a minute. I got 50 of them though. So my goal is to find 50 people to give it out to. See what they think about my chili stew. And uh, got some drinks and moon pies too. I bought, I looked for the biggest, cheapest box of dessert I could find and it was moon pies so hopefully they like moon pies. We'll let this cook down a little bit and then we'll try it here in a minute. Then we'll start packaging it up and uh, see if we can help some people out and uh, get the holiday started early. Give them a little treat. Hopefully they like it and appreciate it. If not, hopefully we can just put some food in their belly. I'm wearing a short sleeve shirt right now because it actually is warmer today, but it is it has been super super cold for this time of year here in Texas. So let's let that cook down and then uh, start packaging it. Angel's making up some bags with some Fritos, a napkin, and a spoon. And uh, we're about to start putting all of it into containers. And then, and then Hayden's on his way and uh, we're gonna head to town, start handing out dinner. Well, it got dark on us. We got, uh, we finished up putting our bags together with some Fritos and a moon pie. So, uh, now we're just packaging everything up, putting it in a cooler so it'll stay warm. And then, uh, 
we're gonna head to town. All right, so just pulled into town and we're just gonna drive around places that I've seen people before and hopefully come across, hopefully we come across a few uh, hungry people. Alright, we got the first one. We got one down. 49 to go. He was just having a good old uh, cigarette. And uh, I said, you like deer chili? He said, yeah. So, hope he likes it. Yeah. I got some chili. You want some chili? There you go. How are you doing tonight? Uh, no idea, sir. No idea? No idea. Chili? You want a Coke? Sure. Cool, man. Thank Take you, it sir. easy. You too, sir. Didn't know what he was doing, but got a free meal. Let's go see if we can find some more. Hey, man, I just made a big pot of chili. You want some? I made some deer chili. You want some? Cool. Yeah. You got any other friends? We got a bunch of it. They do. Deer chili, Fritos, Coke. For real? Yeah, man. Hey, man, check this out. Man, you think you can help me out with some of these? I'm trying to get rid of some of these if I can pay my room. What is it? Jumper uh, cables. Jumper cables. It costs 23 bucks, man. I need like to sell me bucks. I don't have any cash. I don't have any cash either. I don't need jumper cables. I take four dollars, man. Well, I don't have cash. Let me see. Let me see what I got. Thanks, man. Here, I'll give you a five dollar bill for it. Thank you, man. Y'all ain't got no more of this chili stuff? Yeah, we got a bunch more. Man, give my friends some. Where are they at? Down in the motel. In the motel? Yeah. Where at? All over. Well, what motel? Right here. That's the motel right across the street from Molly. Oh, right across the street from there? Yeah. All right, I'll drive over there. Okay, thanks, man. Tell them I got chili. That's what I'm for the do. All right. All right. I just bought jumper cables. It's so hard to say no to people. I shouldn't have given them money, but... Oh, well. $26 turned into $5 real quick. $4 real quick. <laughs> All right, let's go see if we can find some more people. Hey, man. Yep. Hey, we made a bunch of deer chili and handed it out. Would you like some? Are you kidding me? We got you. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Yes, sir. Hey, you want a Coke? Yeah, please. You know anybody else that might want some deer chili? There might be some up towards the bus station. You know where that's at? Uh, you go up to 8th Street. Yeah. Right where that car is coming out and go back up. It's that building that's lit up right there with the white lights. Oh, yeah. I know what there's, you're talking about. There's a lot of people up there right now. Cool. Right. Appreciate, appreciate it, man. Appreciate Have a good it, night. Man. Thank you. Take it easy. Thank you. Yes, sir. How are you doing tonight? All right. There's some more. Go. Right. So? Yeah, man. Take it easy. Can I get one more? Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. No, absolutely. Is that it? Uh, no, I, sh I shot it over here in Waco. I seen some, uh, I guess they're a type of antelope, right? Uh, yeah. Here you go. Take it easy. I would appreciate that. Give me a cup. Thanks. Need a bag. Hold on, I got more. Oh, okay. How you doing tonight? Good, and you? Good. 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 Thank you. Take it easy. Sorry? I got some deer chili. Hell yeah, that sounds wonderful, dude. Just right, shot dude. it yesterday. Awesome, yeah. What'd you get? Black buck. Black buck. All right. Yeah. Take it easy. Thanks, man. Take it easy. Buck? Yeah. Yeah. Look in the bed of the truck. Yeah, man. I'm going to look at it Heck yeah. All right, buddy. Take Appreciate it easy. You. Have a good one. Dude. Well, we just made it home, and we got one, two, three, four. Four left. Pretty good, good. Joe. It was a good night.
That was a pretty fun video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, always fun to get out there and help people when you can. And uh, that black buck fed a lot of people. And these last five or four containers aren't going away, so I promise you that, because it's pretty good. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and eat good.